Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Asana with Smartsheet. First of all, what we have to do, we have to create an account at asana.com. Once we are here in our home page, we want to go uh, to home button, as I said, and the second option is explore integrations. I want to click on explore integrations, explore integrations. As you can see, there's a tons of uh, integrations available for you already pre-made, already pre-made by Asana. But if you don't uh, look what you're looking for, uh, don't find what you're looking for uh, here in uh, those options, you can also use Zapier.com. Zapier.com is an integration app. You also need to create an account here and uh, once you do that, you want to go to the dashboard at the top left corner and we want to make a zap. You can name your zap by going like Asana to whatever, for example. And now we have to set up a trigger manually. In Asana, it happens automatically because you just pick Microsoft Teams, for example and you are good to go you just install it and the integration is done but if the task is not as easy as just uh, picking one of the most mainstream products uh, you have to go to zapier.com or you don't have to but it's a good option we start the trigger event by using asana like this uh, now we have to manually uh, choose the event so let's go with new user, for example. We press continue. We have to choose an account at Asana that we already created. We press continue. And now we have to set up a trigger. What will have to happen to create this integration? And let's go with marketing because that's the, that's the account that I'm creating for marketing purposes. Continue. You can test your trigger or you don't have to, but it's, uh, we can go straight to action number two. Here in action number two, we want to pick from, as you can see, more than uh, 3,800 more interaction that, uh, that Zapier is providing. For example, we can go, go for Google Sheets. We choose an event. Uh, Let's go with create spreadsheet around. It doesn't actually, actually matter. And now you have to just log in to your uh, Google Sheets account. And that's about it. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.